Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mid Journey version 5.1 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you 20 new logo design styles that I like. I'm also going to put the prompts in the description. So anything I type out here, you're going to have it in the description. Feel free to use it as is or modify it. I'm also going to show you how to take any one of these logos that I create or any logo you make and turn them into a vector graphic for free it's and you don't have to use adobe illustrator so there's a whole lot here we're going to learn let's look at some of the um some of the styles first i'll go through them quickly the first one is one of my favorites it's the minimalist style again sometimes less is better in the logo design world and here's just a few examples of a french bulldog very minimalist low poly look again description will be in or the part of me the prompt will be in the description the second one is an abstract watercolor technique here as you can see here um pretty cool looking it's kind of a little less popular for logo designs because there's quite a bit uh going on in these as opposed to like clean you know short strokes but hey you know what if someone you know owns a uh, artistic company or maybe they're a painter not a bad way to go vintage stamp style here i'll put that prompt in the description below it looks like it's out of the 50s um pop art andy warhol type look here really really like this style nice and bold and lots of colors in it and uh lots of contrast here's a new style that i like i just started using it's the pixel art style so you can design a retro style here here's a graffiti street art style that i really like yeah i really like this one although maybe i would have preferred it if the bulldoggy was looking at the camera stained glass pretty basic but you know what you just cut out the white and you keep the rest looks pretty damn good if you ask me uh here's one that i really like a cubist interpretation yeah, that's right. This is a, a French logo built, a French dog, a French bulldog, pardon me, using cubist techniques. And uh, yeah, it chops it up into geometric shapes and puts them into some sort of abstract composition. Again, the uh, prompts will be in the description below. Here's an origami type look. <laughs> I remember origami from when I was in grade school. Good stuff. Um, neon sign for, so, for those of you that like brighter looks and you want it to, to really pop out. The neon sign look and the psychedelic style both really really cool styles here that i quite like um here's one that i really enjoyed and i wasn't expecting it to be this good but tribal art in this one we have a french bulldog using a tribal inspired pattern and uh yeah focus on bold and design elements strong design elements and i really like that style uh, as well as this one this one is a more simpler style but again you know what sometimes simpler is better especially in the logo world so this is a mosaic style and if we keep going down a little further, this is some older stuff, some Art Nouveau style here, a futuristic style, although there might be a little bit too much going on in terms of, you know, like yellow paint dots, but you can always take those out. But I uh, really enjoy that style here. And then getting right down to the end here, this is a very basic chalkboard style, quite like that. This one's an etching, it's called. So again, all of the prompts are in the description below. So if you like a particular style here, uh, just click on it. This one I don't like too much, but I could see how this could work if you, uh, you know, you get the eyes right for the French Bulldog. But again, you know, this was a silhouette design, but this one I really enjoy. This one is fantastic. This is a patchwork design. Uh, yeah, it patch. it's a patchwork of different fabrics, textures, and patterns, creating a sense of, sense of depth and variety. Really enjoyed this style. Highly recommend it. And the last one I want to show you glitch art again this one's pretty cool too uh, and this one here is a french bulldog that appears to be distorted or corrupted by digital glitches <laughs> so there you go these are all the prompts now if you're wondering how the heck did i come up with these ideas that's a great question watch this it's all just chat gpt version 4 i've got gpt 4 and then i created a prompt a prompt generator a random ai art generator prompt generator and i gave it i asked for 20 styles and I actually got 30, but 20 of them were any good. 10 of them just didn't work for me, at least for the logo design. And if I want 10 more styles, I just go, give me 10 more. And it will just go ahead and do it. And here they come. So I'm going to give you the prompt that I used in ChatGPT as well. So it's given me one here, Expressionist. All right, cool. Collage, yeah, I'm sure they're great styles. Let's keep going. Let me show you how to vectorize any of these uh, logos while I got you here. So this is the website, vectorizer.ai. I'm just going to go into my finder and I'm going to grab one of these. So I'm going to grab, which one did I like? I really like this. Let's go with the glitch art. I'm just going to drag and drop it here. And you're going to notice that I didn't log into anything. I don't have an account here. 
This is a free tool that allows you to just vectorize anything for free. It's absolutely crazy. And once it's done playing fetch, <laughs> yep, pun intended, I suppose. Once it's done this process, you can actually go ahead and download this for free. Watch this. Here you go. Left side is the original image. Right side is the vectorized image. Click on download. And when you click on it, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and download it quickly. You can make some changes here to this, to the type. But again, it's all free. You'll see here that it says .svg, which means dot or means scalable vector graphics. So if I was to take this file and right click on it and open it in Adobe Illustrator, I guarantee that it will be vector art. When I click over here and I click on this little triangle, bang, there's all the paths. It's completely vectorized and it's done an amazing job. This is an unbelievable amazing free AI tool. So I'll leave links to all of this, including the prompts in the description below. Let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see. I'll be back soon.